So, how do you install the cube septic tank? Well, it's really easy. Once you've dug a small hole, you simply put the cube septic tank into the hole. Making sure that you leave enough space around the outside of it for the shingle and granular backfill. But we'll come to that in a minute. Because once you've put the cube in the hole, you then need to do this step. You now need to fill the cube up with water up to the height of the outlet pipe. Once you've done that, you now need to ascertain whether you've got dry ground or wet ground conditions. If you've got dry ground conditions, then you need to backfill with sand or granular backfill, something like 20 to 30 mil shingle. This will absorb any water pressure and stop it popping up out of the ground. If you've got wet ground conditions, then you need to um, employ a slightly different method. You've got to backfill with concrete. And the concrete um, basically acts like an anchor and will stop the, um, the cube from ever popping up above the ground. So if in doubt, concrete it in. If you need to install the cube deeper into the ground, then you can use a riser or as a, an extension neck, as they're called. The cube risers are approximately about 400 mil in height and simply attach to the top of the cube. They're really easy to put on. Okay, so you've put the cube into the ground now. Did you know that every septic tank needs a soak away? So how do you make a soak away for the cube? Well, really easy. Dig a hole and fill it with gravel, something like 20 to 30 mil granular backfill. And typically you can fill the hole to half or three quarters of its height. So, how does the soak away pit work? Well, it's a very ingenious but simple design. The gravel pit fills with liquid from the cube septic tank and it fills up to a certain height and then drains naturally away back into the soil.